My name is Claire Aylward and I'm at the Grasslands restaurant in Sonoya, Arizona and I'm here to talk about some of the art on the walls, uh, some of my art quilts which are hanging here and I'm also going to talk to you a little bit about my parents restaurant. Um, so I want to show you some of the quilts and there's one over here we can look at. Um, and that what you're seeing right there is a strip piece landscape. It's a small piece and it's just made with strips of fabrics. Um, this technique of making art quilts um, is used by several quilt artists. Um, Joan Wolfram in Washington State wrote a great book about strip piece landscapes and I was inspired by her work when I made this piece. Uh, whenever I do a strip piece landscape, I always uh, make an attribution to her work because her book on strip piece landscapes uh, is really influential for me. Now the fabrics in that quilt were uh, dyed, some of them are hand dyed by me and some of them are commercial prints. Okay, so this piece right here is another art quilt and this is made from an original design by Native and Agave and all the fabric is hand painted and hand dyed and then there's hand applique and machine quilting. It's a rather large piece and I used some resist here uh, to create the dots on the agami. And what's the material? Uh, cotton. cotton. This is all 100% cotton. I think it's really important when making pieces like this to make them durable. I like to use fabrics that are going to stand to the test of time. Um, so all my materials are in construction methods are designed to uh, hold up in the long run. I don't like to use flimsy fabrics. Right here we are behind the bar, and uh, another one of my pieces is here, and this is another strip piece landscape. I really love this piece. This is based on uh, the Great Smoky Mountains, uh, the part of the country I, I really love. And this is a piece I made last year, and all the fabric here is either hand dyed uh, by me, or there's some commercial prints. Like this is, is an example of a fabric that I would purchase. Um, I really like these small motifs um, in strip piece landscape to create the illusion or the image of um, foliage or um, farmland, something like that. Um, and then after I constructed it, building up strips for the landscape, I quilted it. And you can see the quilted design here. Um, and then on the back of all my quilts, you can see like the quilting on the back. And then I always, again, give my quilts a tag. Um, and I really like this piece a lot. I think it's pretty successful. And um, I hope somebody buys it. Now, can you tell us anything about the dye materials that you use? Um, I use uh, fiber reactive dyes. I get them from Dharma Trading Company. That's a great resource. And then Velda Newman in uh, Nevada City, California, has been a great influence on me in learning how to make my own designs. Um, and designing patterns, especially patterns for foliage and, and plants, um, using an overhead projector and, um, and photographs. Um, this is the last piece I have hanging here at the restaurant. As you can see, there's a lot of beautiful art here. Um, and this is a, really a great, a great place for me to hang my pieces. This piece here is called uh, Sonoida Agave with Snake. And this is the first art quilt I ever made. It's rather large. Um, this is made with silk and cotton. And again, all the material you see was hand dyed or hand painted by myself. And they're all original designs. Um, I designed the rocks, the agave, and the snake. And the technique I used here is machine embroidery um, for the agave blossoms. Um, 
I really enjoyed making this piece. It's unusual in that I used silk. This is all silk. This is raw silk. Uh, it has a nice drape. Um, and it's really a very beautiful piece. I think it really uh, kind of speaks to what, what, what it's like down here in southern Arizona with the, the vistas and the, and the, the large spaces. And what about the medals and the ribbons? Well, that's a, a viewer's choice award I got at a quilt show. So I'd encourage anyone who's in, uh, in Arizona to stop on by, have a good meal, and then also just enjoy uh, just a very relaxing experience looking at nice art and eating good food.